We now know how to begin a piece of music. We now know how to conduct it using the two pattern. But now what remains before we can actually sing is to do the cutoff, to stop the singing. It is not unusual for the cutoff to be done by the right hand alone. When the final sung note occupies more than one beat, a simple release consists of the right hand moving to the center of the waist for this last sung note and rising slowly for the cutoff with the inward or outward release. Remind singers that pieces that end in a vowel should be concluded with a breath, leaving the mouth in a singing position. In other words, when we end with a vowel, ah, we wouldn't go, ah, ah, but we go, ah, ah, that's the cutoff, all right? But let's do, let's practice the cutoff using the right hand alone, all right? And we make a C at the top, C at the top. So let me do a, a two pattern with the cutoff on the second measure, the second beat of the second measure. Position, eye contact, tempo in mind, breathe in, in the preparation, all right? One, two, one, two, cut off. Position, preparation, one, two, one, two, cut off. If the last sung note of a hymn has only one syllable, and it would be two beats. It's not uncommon to simply use the one beat and then go straight, straight up like this and use a C for the cutoff. Again, a two beat pattern followed by two beats with the cutoff simply following the one beat. Position, one, two, one, two, off. All right. The C at the top can be a soft, what we call a soft C. It doesn't have to be like that. If, if, the, if the cutoff goes this way, the singers are going to sing, yay! <laughs> All right, we certainly don't want that in a hymn. Some conductors will use both hands to accomplish the release or cutoff. One beat before the cutoff, the left hand will participate in the pattern. And the last beat, the right hand will make a letter C and the left hand a backward C. This is referred to as the outward release. And then for the inward release, the left hand will make the letter C and the right hand the backward C. So first of all, let's do the right hand making the letter C. Again, a free measure. One, two, one, two. All right, now with the right hand doing the backwards. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Well, some conductors will stop the beat pattern at the last syllable regardless of where it occurs, at the beginning of a measure or in the middle, and hold the position, and then do the cutoff. I think that the stopping motion can result in the singers relaxing too much so that the quality of the so sound sags below the pitch. The energy of the sound level produced by the singers must continue to the very end, to the cutoff itself. 